all right guys let's continue so let's check where we are okay this is where we are so what we want uh we want to put some titles here okay or some categories so that somebody can see the categories um so before we get there we might as well go back here and copy this browse by range okay copy this browse by range go back to our code make sure that um here on our code we change the title accordingly okay change the title accordingly and then also here okay copy this and we paste it here okay we paste it here my apologies about that okay then i think we are done with that and then let's come here okay so the first thing that we are going to do here let's just make sure we've got different images here okay so what we can do we can go back let me close this we can go back to the carousel go back to the carousel so in terms of the src we can make this uh, to be some sort of dynamic let's see okay let's use back ticks okay um okay we can use back ticks inside the code block okay so let's use back ticks here okay as you can see so i'm just going to paste this as it is so i am going to change this one so i'm going to put a dollar sign with uh, curly braces and then i am going to put index here so if i am mapping here i've got index okay um index start from what index starts from zero okay uh it starts from zero so there won't be an image with zero here okay zero dot image dot jpg we don't have that so let's just create it okay let's just go back here and create it so let's do this so that we cannot be confused or we cannot confuse ourselves let's just do this do, 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 do. my apologies about that let's just save this and then let's name this zero from the get-go this is jpeg um let me first copy it to here so that we make sure that okay so that we make sure the um, The file extension is the same okay now i'm sure that this is the jpg and then let me just copy it go back to my files um where do i want to be i want to be here nope this is the entire course i want to be okay we can get to the code and uh, explore come here reveal in explorer and then i can paste this here and then i can change this to zero this is what i wanted to do because in fact i can even change it from here make it zero okay zero one two three four five as you can see this one we are not going to use it okay so it looks like to me now this logic might work so when this iterates is going to start at zero and then dot jpg is going to get this image at one is going to get this one so let's just quickly check there if our images are now unique let's go back and see so as you can see guys now our images are unique i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this um let's see in terms of these images are fitting all of them here as you can see some of them might be squashed obviously you might not notice now okay but there is some sort of a challenge here okay these images are not in their own uh, aspect ratio okay so what we need to do we need to go to image um where let's uh, put a class name here 
okay um i want a style here a class but let's say object i think it's object um cover okay i think this is object cover so the images are supposed to spread um like to retain their own aspect ratio okay so as you can see now this image it's exactly as it was okay it didn't change okay um i'm happy with this okay because now our image are not going to look squashy and another thing that we must we might notice here when i'm clicking here okay let me start from this side when i'm clicking here this doesn't move immediately okay i believe guys these are some small things some small tweaks that you might be able to fix on your own okay i don't want to make the course very long unnecessarily these are very minor things that i believe you can work around them okay so i'm just showing you that i can notice there is a ux uh, a challenge okay when i'm clicking here it doesn't move okay <clears throat> i apologize about that so i'm happy with this uh this is working perfect so now we need to put the the text here so what we are going to do we are going to come back where okay we are going to come back here so we've got this div here let's create another one here okay let's see let's see let's see let's see yes let's create another one here okay the div that we are going to create here um the color the color is going to be excuse me the color is going to be this one this one okay let's see will that work okay or we can make this one and then on black let's see guys let's just test okay um let me go back here okay first of all we need a class name okay let's just say bg any any bg for now um this is the controlling uh let's see let's see let's see this is the controlling parent right and i've got also this one controlling the image am i correct um let's see let's see what do i want to do okay no okay whatever that i'm thinking is not going to work the way i want to okay so let's do it like this what is the overall width of this the width is 300 so let's make this 280 or maybe 270 okay let's make this a width of 270 of 270 pixel and the height of let's say the height of 100 and the height of 100 pixels happy with that let's just go back and see how this looks like okay okay as you can see it's outside this component i'm happy with it okay i don't really mind about that so what we want to do we want to bring this into this component that's not much of a problem this is how we are going to do it now we need to know um which parent are these guys sharing this guy and this image um, let's see let's see who and who am i talking about can't we take this guy inside this container okay so that this um guy and this image there might be some sort of siblings let's see i think so i think we can do that okay they are inside this guy with the width and height i'm happy with that uh obviously now since this is filling the entire screen maybe some other things we cannot see okay let's test okay so what we want to do now um we want to position this absolute okay so that it can somewhat float and we want the z index of this to be positive so that it can be on top okay uh we want the top of it to be zero at the top to be zero and the left of it to be zero okay and the left of it to be zero okay now as you can see guys we can see it okay so this means that um instead of working with the top 
we can work with bottom okay so instead of working with top we can work with bottom let's say a bottom of six and what about the left um let's see what do i want to do okay um left off let's say a left of six just for testing and see my apologies about that i'm somewhat happy with it okay but the left of six as you can see um, doesn't necessarily give us what we want left of six maybe a left of three okay this doesn't have to be exact exact at the moment but we are just trying okay i'm happy with this now we want this to be uh, remember we've got our own colors okay from the inverted theme principle uh, so how can we check those colors let's just go back and check this background okay not the text um the background page padding not this one because now i forgot the name of it um let's go to that background where is it wall tertiary okay okay i want this wall tertiary and i want this text pry okay let's go back here um what do we want to do here i want to get inside the carousel and i want in terms instead of this color where is it now the color the grayish color where is it okay bottom where is your background bg we don't want this we want this okay and then let's say text um is it text pry so i will just need to go back and copy this one as well i forgot now where is it oh it's text pry all capital letters okay text pry all capital letters where do i want to be yes i want to be here remove this text pry all capital letters i'm happy with this so meaning that now these colors they are conforming to our color scheme and then we might as well put center here to center everything okay um what else let's work on this uh span let's say work on this span um uh, this test can still be test and then let's put the class name and then let's put a text bold here make this a little bit bold and in terms of the text a uh, size let's put uh let's try 23 23 pixel and let's go back guys and see how things are looking like i'm happy with this this is exactly what i was expecting but the only thing that i don't really see it's the font bold and i've made a mistake of text bold okay i've made a mistake of text bold and since we are already here we might as well round this okay let's put around it xl now and see how it looks like okay around uh, it xl looks like it's too much around it xl looks like it's too much let's just put around uh, it lg okay lg just like that one let's work on the height the height doesn't really have to be 100 what happened to the span okay nothing happened okay the height doesn't really have to be 100 let's make it let's try 60 first okay i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this okay i'm happy with this so here we can put all the categories let's just click here and see i'm happy with this now guys remember we are applying our own principle for themes okay as you can see guys we have just um use the colors that we already have but these colors they conform to the light and dark mode so now let's see um our own dark version of 
the application so as you can see guys um this color automatically has switched to its corresponding dark version okay so this is some sort of the real practical or what can i say uh, the real use of um, the inverted color theme okay it has saved my life as you can see okay now you don't really have to worry much about light and dark theme and all those things so this um, can quickly be translated to uh, a, a dark theme without having to change a lot of colors so i am matthew singati i'm the designer and developer thank you so much for making it this far if you like content like this please don't forget guys i have got some other courses here and also don't forget to leave a positive review see you on the next one